Okay. When we stopped last night, we were trying to find the potions. We got the oh, one right. potion from that lady in the shop. Right. We gotta find... Um... Uh... Cinna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have to go to the market. Yes. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool to see people find things they, they really love that they didn't know about. Is it upper level? Upper level? Wait. No, upper level. Wait. I think we're already at the we're, level we need to be at. You're right, you're right. We just right. gotta go out the other direction. You know, like, just like when you discover something new you really love and you just become really proficient at it really fast because you're super excited. Yeah. Alright. Off we go. Because we need to turn Sid back from an oglop to... So we're going to the theater. Yeah, I think so. To a human. So he can make the ship that doesn't run on mist. Yes. Alright. But yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of like... I, I just really enjoy ending shorts mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm really, I was like really happy when I figured out how to do some captions like that. Yeah? Hey, isn't that? I think it is. Yo! Ooh, me? How's it going, buddy? Hey, you're the couple from Promethea. Also, a lesbian queen made it to the top four. There's like female representation in TCG or video game. Okay, or esports in general, so it's always nice. That yeah, is yeah. Awesome. I yeah, you're right. Every time I do see clips from stuff like that, it's usually dudes. I I remember like two years ago, I was watching the the, the junior video or the junior TCG one, mm -hmm. and there was this they do like these spots on people, and a little girl was like, "Yeah, I picked up Pokemon," and she's like, "I'm not very good," and she just fucking ran. Everybody. <laughs> you know, nice. I was like this girl's just out here like conning everybody. Got him. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, Imbramicia. Ah, oh, it was nothing. I'm glad to see your husband's doing well. Yeah, my leg's all healed thanks to you. It was a struggle, but luckily we were able to get- I wish I could do a good Joey accent. Like, it was a struggle. Wobble. It was a struggle, but luckily we were able to get here. No, it's Christopher Walken. Which is Joey, but Joey is like Christopher Walken half. Mm. Some of our friends made it to Limblum too, but they said many people died on the way. Jeez. Oh, bother. <laughs> the rally. Oh, it's your girl. Yep. Freya! I'm so happy to see you. Likewise. I'm glad you all made it here. Yes, it was a long trip, but somehow we found our way here. I only wish Dan and the others were here, too. We've lost so many friends. Indeed. We can't get down now. We have to go on for their sake and ours. So, Freya, what are you going to do now? I'm going after Kuja with Zidane and the rest of the party. Who may not even be the villain anymore? And you. I'm getting a burger. Hmm? We're going to regroup and embark on the reconstruction of Bermesia. Many of our comrades are still scattered all over the continent. Actually, we were hoping you'd join us. Oh... Then I will see you all as soon as I complete my objective. Please take care of things till then. Will do. Good luck to you, too. Thank you. I wish Sir Fratley were with us. You don't like gatekeeping the esports e stuff for gender, and other times it's not even comfortable for them to, want to get into space because it grows people. Yeah! I mean, it's the same thing with like local hobby shops and stuff. I see that every time I go to get my comics, and I'm like, that looks cool as hell, but also, like, the, the game was like $150, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It does look cool. I have thought about buying it as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I want to show you something. That's right. Huh? Mm hmm? Hey, come here. Okay. There are children! Holy crap, man! So many of them. I didn't think I could keep our promise. Who is this, Daddy? He's my savior. Oh. What's a savior? Savior is a really important friend. Oh. 
I want a savior too. He looks cool. <laughs> I like your kids. Someday we're gonna return to Promethea. Right now we're trying to get everyone together. It's gonna take a lot of time and effort to rebuild our home. We go play now. Sure. We must rebuild Bermesia for our children. Make sure you come visit us once we're finished. Yes, after all, you are our savior. I'll definitely be there. I'm just imagining, like, right, like, imagine Jesus Christ returns. And he comes to your house, and, like, he, someone, he walks in, and, like, someone's like, who's that? And you're like, this is my friend Jesus. <laughs> this is Jesus? <laughs> this is my best friend. And they're like, Christ? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ? <laughs> I don't know anything about potions. What about you? Never heard of anything like that. Hi, kids. La 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 la! La 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 la! Can't even go that Wait. Okay. I made it through. No? There's a bunch of kids. Silly kids. Oh. Give me that lapis lazuli. Self proclaimed artist Michael. I never heard of him. If you happen to find it in my studio, go ahead and take it. Okay. Oh! Alright, there we go. Something. Okay, so now we just gotta find Cinna. Yeah. I think. I think he's over here. Wait, I can go this way? Yeah. Oh! Uh. Okay. Yeah, there's stairs right here. Oh, okay. Your <laughs> eyes are working better than mine today. I thought you'd all be here. Zidane, are you alright? I heard you got injured pretty bad. Yo! Oh wait, that's not you. You can walk! You that's can a walk good sign. inside. Yeah, looks like I'll live. Have you talked to Blank? Yeah, I saw him at the castle. So what are you doing here? Just stopping by to say hi? And I said, hey! Actually, I came for a favor. You happen to have the unusual potion? Yeah. <laughs> nice, can I borrow it? Yeah, sure, hold on. So, Zidane, you ever gonna rejoin us? Dad said I can't. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it after things settle down. After I settle down with Garnet, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Or without you. Here you go. That's all, all of them. Finally, I can go back to the castle and see Sid. What are you gonna use it for? To turn Sid back into a human. Thanks, Thanks a lot. That's you. So I saw a modern render of Zidane mm -hmm. or Zidane in in the on TikTok. And it looked really cool, but they had him being like, like he was like 1920, right? Mm. And like in my head, this Final Fantasy doesn't actually take place in um in like a, a world. It's like a pygmy, like they're in like like these are all fairy sized people. Like mm. they're like you know this big. Mm -hmm. Um, even though, like, literally, I think the art style is just very cheapy compared to 8, 7, and 8. Yeah. Um, and I was like, this feels weird because he's, like, 6'2 <laughs> in this picture. There are people, and it's the same thing with, like, Tifa, you know, or Yuffie, but people were like, wow, Zidane, Zidane was so hot. And I was like, excuse me? Excuse me? I guess I should save first. I'm, ex I'm excited to play Dredge. Now that I saw the trailer for it. Mm -hmm. Looks interesting. I mean, like, I love the Sunless Sea. So, I'm hope. But this seems like I looked at it. It seems like it has more of an end game. Uh, like, Sunless yeah. Sea does have an end game. But you just win and then, like, start over again, you know? Yeah. Onwards. BB, don't worry, we're gonna save your 
brothers and sisters and whatever they are. Yep. Alright, so I assume I'm supposed to go to see Sid now? I assume so. That guy had a Shinyan hair pop. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm excited to watch some more summertime rendering later. Me too. Literally, I can't see how to resolve this plot right now. Yeah? You're just fucked, like... <laughs> well, I'm just waiting because, like, he has the ability to go back in time when he dies. I'm just waiting for him to die again. Yeah. So I was like, he's gotta die one and more time. see where right? he starts from. Yeah. Hey, I got him. My voice almost cracked. I mixed the three potions in this bottle like you told me to. Excellent, let's test it right away. Sire, are you ready? Oh, what the hell? Go ahead! Can't be worse than being a fucking cockroach. This better work. Alright, here we go. Let's put a little <laughs> drizzle on, on there. the mustache. Whoa! Did it work? Hmm, something's wrong, Ribbit. Ribbit? Oh, bother. It didn't work. Good gracious! The Regent has become a frog! Oh man, no, we'll never get a new airship. That's it, Ribbit! No more potions, no more medicine! We're gonna go find Hilda! Gather everyone in the conference room, Ribbit. Jeez, this sucks. I think he looks better as a frog. For sure. Thank you for coming. The regent has an important announcement. He's horny. Now he's a frog? I wanted to, Ribbit, become a man again, but this is all I got. We all know that Kuja holds the key to our fate, Ribbit. We must find him at any cost. But we don't have an airship. We can use that Ribbit ship we stole in Alexandria. Artania orders the bolt to service that ship immediately. Yes, sire. So, where exactly are we going? Ribbit. I'm still working on that. Um, you said earlier that there were black pages on Kuja's ship. So, if we go to the Black Mage Village, maybe we can learn something? Hmm. I still can't believe it. Why were they on Kuja's ship? Why? Well, I'm with Vivi. I think we should go to the Black Mage Village. Yes, brilliant idea, Master Vivi. Princess, will you be going as well? Of course you will. I don't know if that's a good idea. Right, she's not talking. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. Alright then, Ribbit, let's go to the Black Mage Village. We'll all meet on board the ship at the harbor in the base level. No free lunch. Oh, what's Q doing? Yep. If you're super strong, you would- I was, you know, I was thinking that too. I said super strong, and if you like, lost your temper or you couldn't control it, if you, like, went to open a car door and you, like, pulled the car door off. But yeah. I also was thinking, like, if you tried to hold somebody's hand, but then you ended up, like, crushing their hand. Like, you couldn't do anything else yeah. either, you know? I mean, this is an episode of Big Bang Theory where they wonder if Superman can have sex. Yeah, exactly. They're like, <laughs> ejaculation would kill people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what all this construction? Fresh guy shall pickles. Delicious! You have delicious food? Fresh Gishal pickles. They're delicious. Yeah, these pickles taste great. What? That is food? You've never seen a pickle before? No, first time. 
I still need to eat many different food and get much learning. My master told me so. In that case, you should try one. I think you'll like it. Okay, I eat. Well, that person's out of business now. Yeah, she just ate all the pickles, probably. Basically. For the superpowers, I also said if you had super speed, you'd get, like, a bug stuck on you when you're running. Super speed? You'd have to buy running sneakers all the time. True. Slow burn pickles today. What the heck is a slow burn pickle? Wow. Is that like a spicy pickle? Like with habanero or something? So that it slowly... What gate did he say to me that? Uh, he said at the docks. But on the base level, right? Yeah. I'm on the base level. I just don't know which way to go. I don't either. We'll go this way first. Pickles infused with pepper. Yeah. Alright, that's kind of what I was imagining, but... Let's save. Oh wait. I want slot one. Alright, sir. We may not open this gate. Alright, we're going the other way. To Serpent's Gate. Science Gate? Uh, aha! Hello. You're leaving? Have a safe trip. The Regent is waiting on board. Please use the ladder to board the ship. The region was a bit unreasonable this time. I had to work on really short notice. It's a good thing number two's repairs are postponed, otherwise I wouldn't have had time. Please. Man, I hope this thing can get us there. Finally, I find you. Oh yeah, Go. Oh. Kina, what are you doing here? Where you go, Zidane, I travel everywhere and look all over for you. Who's this? Your new girlfriend? <laughs> okay, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> we were just talking about if Jesus came to your house and you introduced Jesus as your friend. Yeah. Especially if it was zombie Jesus. So he's like not saying anything, he's just a zombie? Yeah. I'm so tired. From Mahdi and Sari, I climb mountains, cross ocean, fight monsters. Wow, you must have been through one hell of a trip. So, Blank, you're coming too, right? Yeah, I was asked to. By whom? Zidane all of a sudden has a formal education? The boss, of course, but it wasn't his idea. It was mine, Ribbit. We need at least one person to look after the ship when we reach our destination. Rock. Plus, I still owe you guys <laughs> one, so I volunteer. Kina starts start sweating. <laughs> about she to wants to eat the about frog. About to murder this man. <laughs> you don't owe us anything. He's talking. Okay, anchors away. Hey, Kina loves frogs, so you better watch out. Maybe I eat it. I'm not worried. I've had more enemies as an uncle. Ribbit. Alright, enjoy your movie! Bye! Oh, by the way, if you ever want to change your party members, talk to me. Okay. Where are we off to? We're going to the Black Mage Village on the Outer Continent. Alright, press left D-pad whenever you want to verify your location. Alright, so we go with the tried and true. I like having two healers. Okay. It's like you're not gonna put Freya in there? Freya is who I would put in if I wasn't having him there. Swim in! There's a lot of sirens going on outside. There are. 
Where, which continent is the other continent? I mean, we were up there before. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going, then. Islands. Look at me zooming. I remember in 7 when it opened up into an open world and it was the first time I'd ever played a game with a map like that. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's funny in Dragon Quest because like the enemies you're fighting are the right level for you, but then when you start sailing, they're like way higher level than you and you just get fucked up. I remember the first game I played with a open map. I saw it for a second in the Black Mage Village. It's one of those three at the bottom. I think it's that one? Yeah. Okay. Now my question is, can I dock anywhere I want to? I don't know. Because they're back in that little alley, right? Uh... I think so? I don't know. Where do I dock? Or does it have to be like a beach beach? Let's go to the beach, beach, let's go get away. He's done it. No, you might have not. I think you trapped yourself. No! Now we have to fight. Oh, we have a head. Dagger can't concentrate. See ya. Well, howdy. Well, we're taking Dagger out of the party. Yeah, get the heck out of here. Hello, CMB. Happy Sunday. Hope you had a nice, relaxing Sunday. We didn't go anywhere today. Yeah. We are both useless. I didn't have to worry about catching up on a critical role or anything, because I'm all caught up, and there was no new episode this Thursday. So... To the new yeah. podcast. Oh, our podcast? <laughs> no, his podcast. Or, or a different podcast. Oh, I didn't want to get off the phone again. I was trying to figure out how to change my party. Oh. They did, they did say to talk to what's to, his face. Yeah, I just couldn't figure out how to get back in here. Lurking while finishing the last 10 minutes. Yeah, it was. I feel like we could have definitely gone into a little more um, detail for some of the for aspects sure. of that. But it was a good book. It was a good one. White draw. What? So there you go. No, oh, I thought you said, oh, like I did something wrong. No. <laughs> I did, I was wanting to maybe do some reading today and then I just didn't do any reading at all. As you know, you do sometimes. I did do a lot of writing today though. So yeah. I feel very good about that. That's like my plan tomorrow is to do a lot of the writing, but I did some reading today and stuff. Yeah, I want to do some more writing tomorrow, but... Yes, yes, that was the other one by her. Yeah. Well, there, and like, I always like how much representation is in their uh, story, because like, their Twitter bio is make horror gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, at least in those two books, they certainly do that, yeah. so... <laughs> Oh, baby, it's time to start learning Ooh. Comet, Death Break, and Demi. But yeah, she, like, just very interesting books every time. Yeah. Alright. And finally, I think we did Psycho, but let's... Oh, she's learned auto regen. Oh! I was gonna say, I wish I had anything interesting to talk about. The only thing I could really think about, though, is that Ian and I went to see the D&D movie on Friday. We did. I I really liked it a lot. Yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, obviously, you know, you could be a nip nitpicky and say, like, certain things didn't really make sense for, like, how they are in actual D&D and stuff like that, but I thought it was pretty... I thought it was pretty good, and it was, like, very lighthearted, you know, it didn't take itself too seriously, uh, but at the same time, like, 
did have a semi-serious plot that kept you invested. Yeah. You know? No, I mean, for real, my biggest complaint is just the Underdark treatment. Like, it's just too whimsical in the for, like, the rest of the story, I think. Uh, I kind of also am interested in, because I don't honestly really know that much about the Red Wizards of Thay. Me either. I've I... never really read any th stories with them in it or anything like that, and I kind of want to look it up now, because they seem really interesting. Like, it looked like they're a culture of wizards, obviously, but then it also looked like they're not necessarily anti-lich. Like, it looked like some of them were liches. They were just like, all right, we're in. <laughs> uh, Eternal life, say no more. Now, I understand that they were also... The villains. The villains, but... <laughs> seemed interesting to me, you know? I'm just trying to find the place to dock. So, I love the Underdark. In general. Like, it's one of my favorite D&D locations, and I love, like, entities that live there. Um... I, I feel like I understand why they didn't go too into the Underdark. Oh, yeah, it's Because hard. it would just be like, how could you include all the culture of the Underdark in... Like, it, the, the movie would not have had enough time to do it. Yeah. Right? So I like I like what they did in the D&D &D movie. Yeah, no, it's, my problem is, like, I, I just would have not made the Underdark a plot point at all. Because, like, if you're not going to treat it like it's the scariest fucking place in the world, why, why bother? I'm I still think they had some scary stuff happen to them. Like I, I would, I would have just been like, oh, it's in like a dungeon or a keep or something, you know. I'm trying to figure out like. Yeah, I like the Underdark portion of Campaign One too. They also don't spend a lot of. I mean, they spend like they probably spend like ten episodes there in Campaign One, I think. Um. And I think I, they get into some interesting... I also think the Underdark has some of the most... Yeah, yeah, the first dozen or so episodes. Like, in historically in D&D, I think the Underdark has some of the most controversial aspects of D&D, so I can see why they maybe wouldn't want to get involved in that necessarily. Like, like how would you make a drow movie? Right, like it would just be really hard to make one that's not offensive, but also like still carry the heck is that shadow. I don't know. Carries like the weight the Underdark normally carries. But I was going to say I do like how they've revamped some of those things in the new uh, versions. Like, yeah, I don't know. I I like. Because the drow in general are not, like... Like, they're all very smart. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, they're they're essentially misled because their goddess has tricked them. And, like, m messed them up pretty badly, you know? Um, so, like, I just, I don't know, like... Like, yes, the drow are villains, and the way they're, they're written can be problematic. But then also, like, it's like when you're led astray and you don't know any better, right? Mm. Oh, wait, is Freya in the back? I should move her. Every once in a while, I get the urge to reread the War of the Spider Queen books. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either, is the problem. She's still in the back. How do you know? Where's the... You gotta push her over to the left. There you go. There! Okay. Like, it's it's a fine game, and the story makes sense and everything. I'm just like, I don't... I haven't found any attachment to a character yet. Except Phoebe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like... I don't know. <laughs> I agree, I'm the same. It doesn't, I kind of it doesn't have, like, the crazy drama of 7 or 8 for me. This is just kind of like a kingdom game, you know? Mm. But we're on this 3.
Even Vivi's hitting for like 200 damage now. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for the end of the month because Jedi Survivor comes out. And I'm also... Um... Yeah, yeah. Well, and I saw a lot of people, like, this is the first Final Fantasy that, like, consolidates all the elements of older Final Fantasies that didn't make it into all of them, so, like, it's like a reintroduction for a new generation. Mm. But, like, I don't know, it's just, the, I, I feel like it's not, it's very silly. Yeah. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm gonna look around. I forgot that VB's theme goes hard, though. Yeah. And normally I'm not a big fan of the techno sorcery ones as much as... Yeah, I really thought I would at least like the fantasy elements, but I don't know. For for some reason, they just seem... Just kind of meh to me. Everything's just very cheesy. And like, I, I mean, like, I honestly hate to critique a game like that because... I understand, like, some people, this is, like, their favorite one, and I, like, hate for them to feel that, like, I'm dissing it, but just, it just is not for me. Yeah. For some reason. Where is everyone? They went away with Kuja. Two other guys stayed behind. They're probably at the Chocobo Shack. Yo, the Chocobo Shack? Why? Why did they go with him? They learned about our lifespan. We can live only for a given amount of time. Who just said he knew how to extend our lifespan, so everyone followed him. He's lying. I bet he's lying. Look what he's done to us. He's been treating us like puppets. Muppets. Maybe we are just puppets created to serve humans. Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are in the Chocobo Shack, right? Hey, bye, Vivi. Vivi! Oh, you got nothing to say. But I did find out today, because we were playing also through Dra Dragon Age 2, which I'm really enjoying. Yeah, we're having a great time with that. And uh, I'm romancing Fenris in this playthrough, and I was like, his voice sounds super familiar. And I looked up today, and he's the same guy that voices out to Belpier. Yeah. And I was like, hell yes, he always is playing a bisexual icon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hello? Is anyone there? BB. Please open the door. It's born. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. And I'm playing Ocarina of Time for the first time, which I'm enjoying, but I'm really excited to play Finally. Dredge too. Finally. Hooray! Hooray! I would also worship the Chocobo. I still can't believe it! Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the Chocobo. Is that a euphemism? At first we were gonna go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the Chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by putting a lot of hay over it. Can't wait to show him to everyone. They're gonna be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hmm, hey. What's happening to me? I feel strange. Oh no. Me, me too. Uh oh. What? Are they gonna die? I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Choco. He stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg. I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? 
am I gonna stop pretty soon too? I don't know. Who just said the prototype built before us would last longer? But I am gonna stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, Vivi, no need to be sad, so I told myself I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back street? But when I saw Dagger crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I never would have felt that way. Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Vivi. Let the hate flow through you, Vivi! Can you do a good Palpatine voice? Uh, no. I, well, he's like... <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of something he says. I mean, I guess he, he says, says let, let the, the hate, hate flow through you. Let the hate flow... But, he's got like a jolly sound. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Like right before it. he says it, he goes like... Good, good, let the hate flow through you. Mm -hmm. Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of this continent. It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Evie has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought it would I would change after I met Zidane. Once I ascended to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. She's still helpless. It's disc three, and she's still useless. Even the Iko's out here, like, murdering. <laughs> wow. Dagger, were you listening, too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? You've only known him for, like, four days. <gasps> Dagger? Are you all right? No, she's still wallowing in self-pity. Don't worry too much. Vivi has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up. We'll beat up Kuja, and you'll get your voice back in no time. Zidane? Something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah. We're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there. Oh, also, CMB, have you watched Summertime Rendering? We're about halfway done. Real good. I mean, we don't know if the ending is gonna pay off, but like... Just the plot is wild. Good so far. I like the animation a lot, too. Yeah. So, it's, an, it's a manga, and then Disney adapted it. And it took a year to make it to Hulu. Really good. Um, it's about this kid who's going home because essentially his sister passed away. She's like his sister-in-law or sister. He, he's not adopted sister. I think I don't even know if he was ever officially adopted by the he dad, but his him. parents like died and then he lived with his family. Yeah. And his sister dies. But he finds out that she was murdered. And that there's these things called shadows on the island that, um, can, like, scan you and take your memories and form and, like, replicate you. And something weird's happening on the island, and every time he dies or get, when he gets murdered by one of them, he, like, loops back to the beginning. Oh my god, let me out of the trees! But yeah, like, it's one of those shows where you're, like, you're like, when are they gonna start answering stuff? And they're like, jokes on you, here's eight more mysteries. Yeah, it just like, so far in the last few episodes, it's just been like, you 
think you get an answer to a question, but it actually just makes the answer, the question more confusing. Yeah. Or... And also you got, uh, there's Rhea knows K, and then what's the girl's name? I don't remember. Anyways, they're hot as hell. Yeah, the ending is either really good, or at the end you're like, what? That's lame. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone loved the manga, so... Hmm. And I'm, I'm excited to watch those other two that Disney adapted, but they're also going to take like a billion years to get over here. I think you want to go to the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, is that? I think I saw it, maybe. Oh no, those are just... I was like, I can't turn the camera. It doesn't stay when I turn the camera. Um, but yeah, because uh, that one about like where Tokyo is like abandoned, but everyone is... Like, there's like a paradise inside Tokyo, seems really interesting. Mm. Probably there somewhere. You get out here. Oh, yeah, that's probably where that is. Yeah. Oh. You mean where the magical safe. explosions? I mean, just jump in the quicksand. What's the worst that could happen? Um, are we gonna go see the Mario movie on Thursday? I don't know. I, I kind of want to. On Thursday, you want to go? Yeah. If you get D and D on Wednesday, right? Yeah, but we usually stream Thursday. No, oh, I'm. That's Friday. why I was confused. Okay, yeah. Well, you know what I meant. I'm just like I want to see Charlie Day. Be Charlie Day. He's not even playing Charlie Day. Did you see um that Charlie Day can only play Charlie Day? Did you see the, um, the me? it was a, N a Nintendo April Fools, and it was like, now, in, in when you play Mario, you can switch to the movie voices. So, like, it was like Mario jumping on the flag in Classic Mario, and they, like, Yahoo! they hit start, and then it went, like, movie voices, and uh, then it was Chris Pratt, like, Mushroom Kingdom, here we go! Oh, no. It was good. It was a good April Fools joke. I was saying yesterday, I was like, this is the first April Fool's Day in, like, years where I was actually aware of what day it was. And, because normally on April Fool's Days, I'm, like, unaware, I completely forget about the holiday, and then I see a post and I'm like, what happened? Who died? What thing happened? This person did what? And then I'm like, oh, it's April 1st, and then I'm, like, mad. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's April 1st. Um... But this year, I I was I was good. Look at this thing. It's a big bug. It is a big bug. I loved all the memes people made about Sam Regal. Holy crap! Oh no. In the Critical Role fandom for April Fool's Day. Are they making memes about him? Uh, so Sam Regal for Critical Role does all these bits for their advertisements. Also, I'm doing a new summon. No, no, that's the one we saw already. Yeah, yeah, the punch. So he does all these, like, and they're all, like, crazy bits. Like, there's a Cash App one where they are the, uh, I don't know, they're called, like, the Finger Ladies of Wrestling, and all the girls are part of the skit, and they do, like, thumb wrestling, and there's, like, I, I, he just like has all these random skits, so people yeah, made. Yeah. yeah, the finger ladies of wrestling, Flo, aka Flo. <laughs> or uh, they have one where with the uh, NordVPN where they're all like cyber hackers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But people just did for April Fools all this fan art basically of all the different comedy bits that he has. And I just, I thought I was loving them. I thought they were hilarious. Okay. So. I'm surprised I didn't see that, because normally I see Critical Role stuff, even though I don't watch I'm Critical surprised Role. you didn't see it either, because I was liking a lot of it. So I would think, so you know how sometimes it shows you stuff. Yeah, yeah. People you follow like it. But then again, Twitter's been going off the rails the last uh, couple weeks, so. Yeah. What does the sad face mean again? You're depressed. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Yeah. 
There's some status conditions in this game I don't think they use in Final Fantasy anymore. I'm back. She has returned. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do, and I keep meaning to do this every week, is move high potions up to the top. Where the heck are they? There's a lot of stuff there. Okay, now it, it all did it for me. Just to make it easier. Mm -hmm. Um. They're also feeling cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sunglass emoji. Yeah. Um, eye drops go on you. I think the no wait, the anointment doesn't get rid of that, right? I I, I you might be right. I just I don't remember. Um. Yeah, what is that? Oh, trouble. They're in trouble. Hold on, I'll, I'll look. Wait, is that right? Trouble? Yes. Okay. Is it, it, it might be anointment. Trouble. Yes, anointment. Wall flicked. Oh, this is the one that characters share the damage with the other party members. Oh, okay. It's the one that super sucks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if I got into that fight because I tried to go into this. Hole. I think you might have gone in. I think you probably have to find the correct quicksand pit. Okay. Is what I'm assuming has to happen. And then when you find the right one, you'll end up at the palace. Hold on, can just, just like that one's glowing. Oh, they're all glowing. Yes. Never mind. I was like, maybe if you just find the, the one that's like looks different. Yeah, somehow. Hello? Oh no! It's a dune sandworm! <laughs> it's a sarlacc. Oh god! These as a pet, if you could. I mean, where the hell would I keep that? What if it was <laughs> just like gizmo sized? Oh, if it was gizmo sized? Maybe. Maybe I would. I've never really wanted a bug as a pet. Yeah. I prefer like reptiles, you know? Yeah, yeah. Big Chungus. He is. At the very least, we're getting good AP out of this. Yeah. Because I, uh, like almost everyone has AP up on them now. Yeah. Yeah, he also. up. BB, you hit him with that Fira. You know, I do have to say, uh, the guy who plays the paladin in the D&D &D movie, killed I think it. he did a great job. He killed it. And I'm glad that he has a role like that in, like, a pretty big-name movie, because I feel like he could have easily, after Bridgerton Season 1, been typecast as just, yeah. like, a love interest, right? Yeah. But then he got to play, like a fun character for, like, a fantasy action-adventure movie, too, so... Yeah, well, I think he balanced the paladin meme of, like, paladins are no fun, but also in a way that was fun, It was funny, right? yeah, it was funny. I, honestly, I feel like that's the thing a lot of people who play paladins don't get right. Yeah. Is they end up being kind of a pain in the ass. With, I think the same is true for people that play rogues. Yeah. Uh, like, they lean into it to the point where it, like, ends up hindering the other <laughs> the other party members when really you can just kind of make it funny. Yeah. Right? Like, like, I've always been really annoyed when, because I... I if I'm really into a group dynamic, this thing again, I tend to play, um, 
Like a slightly chaotic character. Like, they're kind of villainous, right? Mm -hmm. Um... And then, like, the paladin's always like, we're not doing that. And I'm like, you know we have to do this or the game doesn't progress, right? Right. But then also, there's, like, the problem with rogues, where, like, rogues just, like... Like, yes, it's their tendency to steal, but people play them, like, as if they're kleptomaniacs. Like, you know, a rogue doesn't steal when there's a dumb idea to steal. Well, I, the thing I don't like about rogues is when it's, like, they're literally... Like, people play them to the point where they're like, I'm literally just gonna look for every opportunity to fuck over the party and get, like, get an advantage for myself. Yeah. And I'm like, how is that fun for your other party members? Because you're essentially playing, like, a villain within the party yeah. at all times. Like, Which is, like, why the dynamic of our group is so interesting. Because there's been times where, like, Matt was like, I might have to, like, try and kill one of the party members. And yeah. then we were like, like, how do we out? How do we stop this, right? Yeah. But Matt wasn't like, it's because I'm going. I was going to do it from the beginning. Yeah. He was like, it's because of the way the, the situation has developed. I think it will be really interesting in our campaign to see how all of that plays out. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know if we're going to get into enough stuff where it actually matters, but I'm trying to make it so that my character at least is a little more involved with his. So yeah. That like. It could have some interesting stuff happen. But... Um, so there's only one sand pen left. I mean, is there something back there? Uh, maybe. Ah. Oh, look like it. All right, into sand pit number four. Oh, we did it. What? Well, I knew you'd come. It's probably Kuja, right? Yeah. I knew you'd come. Everything is going to plan, or whatever he said. I didn't actually read it. <laughs> so, Jade, Ribbit, wake up. Ugh. What are you doing here, sir? Sid? Where the heck are we? Good question, Ribbit. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Me too, Ribbit. When I woke up, Ribbit, I was in this room. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I don't know, Ribbit. I hope they're alright. So, you're finally awake. That voice, it's Kuja. I am so happy to see you again. You rat bastard, where are my <laughs> friends? Excuse me, Freya is a rat. <laughs> my, my, aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them, they're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh, yes. By the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Yikes! What is this, Dr. Evil's lab? Yeah, right. Or? I'm sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. <laughs> Kuja, you're dead! Oh, dear. Was it something I said? Either way, now that you're aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Damn it, I don't have a choice. Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. Hey, S Sid, I need you to look after the others. Fine, Ribbit. I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, you come back safe. Yeah, I will. 
ਸਕਦੀ ਆ ਚਸ ਚਸ ਹਲੋ ਕੁਜਾ ਡੀ ਹੈਵ ਟ੍ਰੈਜਰ ਲਾਈਂਗ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਨਾ ਥੀਸ ਗਾਇਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਦਿ ਟੂ ਬਲੈਕ ਮੇਜਸ to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My work set, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So tell me what it is already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friend's lives in my hands. I'm going to send you to a place called Oilvert. Oilvert. That's a dip song if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Where is that? Oilvert is south of the Seaway Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? It's not gay. <laughs> you see, there's an <laughs> anti-magic barrier around the place. And I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. <laughs> What's there? I want you to retrieve the Gulug stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship so you won't have to worry about transportation. Perhaps it's too much for you. I'd better send you with three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. Hmm. Not so good though, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. I mean, Dagger's useless right now. Yeah, she can't do magic apparently, so or anything. All I'm saying is you just know Kuja's a queen, right? Like look at this, look at the presentation. Look at the outfits. I want Aiko, Vivi, and Freya. Fine, I shall summon them. Aiko. Vivi. Vivi, why are you staring at the wall? What else is he going to do? Well, I mean, you could look across the wall. And Freya. You don't have to sit facing the the steel. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Aren't you going to ask us why we're doing this? No. I'd probably do the same thing if I were you. you spare me the emotional reunion scene please now go stand with your friends you better keep your promise kuja of course you needed to worry one bit my brain can't undo <laughs> what a bunch of idiots like i really want it to be kuja and not kuja Jack. Jack. He sent us to the other continent or where are we? I think we we're right in now? his docks now or something. Remember he said he's going to let us ride his cruise ship. Whoa. Okay. That must be the Hildegard 1. Any chesty boys or girls? Yeah. Oh, what the uh, heck are you? What? Trouble knife. Way to get up. No, stop doing that. I'm in trouble. I'm not the dumb. 
I'm addicted to this girl. She's got my heart tied in knot and my stomach in the world. Playing to my guitar, I've been listening to jazz. Can we just die, big boy? What do these abilities do, baby? Non-elemental damage. Petrify. Mm. Petrificus totals. Hello. I was told not to go any further. <laughs> 